Hello, hello. Today we have a puzzle with an absolutely amazing rule box. Uh, it's very, very small. And uh, let's get into it. This, this comes at a request um, from a guy, Christian Ray, who uh, I think wants some practice with set. And I, am, I will confess that I am not very good at set. So we'll see if I can do this puzzle. Um, as a little anecdote on that note, I recently was in an um, imposter setter competition um, where I was supposed to mimic Nebuzaradan. And so I, I did all those puzzles on LMD and to, to, get, to try to get a feel for their setting style. And then I set a puzzle. And once it got to the time that people were solving the puzzles and trying to figure out which one was mine, um, trying to be an imposter for Nebuzaradan, then uh, someone came out and said that, oh, well, in this type of puzzle, when Nebuzaradan, Nebuzaradan sets them, uh, they always have set in them. And I it is a thing that I literally had never done. I, I solved all of their puzzles without once trying to use set on them um, and managed to do it without the set ever, even though apparently it is a hallmark staple of their setting. So uh, that's just to give you an idea of how, how little set I do. Uh, anyway, but we're going to try it anyway and see how it goes. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, by the way, the puzzle is Arrow Hijinks by Potato Head 21. And uh, let's get started. Normal Sudoku rules apply, which means the digits one to nine will um, be shown once each in every row, every column, and every marked three by three box. And then we have arrows. So for every arrow, uh, the digits along the arrow will sum to the value in the circle attached to the arrow. So in, in these cases, this is just saying these two are the same digit, these two are the same digit, these three sum to this. So for example, if this were an eight, this maybe could be a one, a three, and a four. Um, this one's a little weird. So what this is saying, I'm pretty sure, is that this is one arrow that goes back to the circle. So uh, well, let's say this is just a nine. Then this could be say two, three, and four. So this is an arrow summing to nine, and this is also an arrow summing to nine. So this would be a seven in this case. So um, this arrow sums to nine, this arrow also sums to nine, and then whatever this is, this could again be seven, two, summing to nine. So that's what we have. Um, so what is the set here? I'm not sure, but I see these arrows all in a row, these arrow heads, the, the circles rather, not the heads, the heads are the tips, I guess. So these arrow circles in a row, and they also coincide with these, which might as, I mean, I could draw these circles the opposite way where this is the circle and it points into the box too, and absolutely nothing would change about the logic of it. So. I'm guessing we're going to have something like this in here. Um, and then to remove it, I'm probably going to do something like this. To, oh, let's start there. Let's call that blue. So that's going to do some work. So I have here, so what is set? Set is this idea that I can make kind of pictures with um, different um, different sets of the digits one to nine. So, so this row is a set of digits one to nine. This row is a set of digits one to nine as well. And what that means is that these digits are the same as these digits. Now, when they overlap, like in the obvious cases in these four places where they overlap, if I delete them, that doesn't change the ultimate. Um, it doesn't change the ultimate kind of fact that the blue digits are the same as the orange digits. I got rid of four of them. I don't know what four digits they are. But this set of digits of these 14 blue digits are the same set of digits as these 14 orange digits. Now further, these have to be the same digit, and these are the same, and these are the same, and these are the same. So I can get rid of those as well. Um, now I haven't really done much here. I still have, I have 10 of each digit. Um, so I think I need to do, like, if I add this to blue, now what I can do is these two, no, I'm not, now when I get rid of digits, I'm not going to be getting rid of one for one, but I'm going to be getting rid of sum. So if I get rid of these digits, so these two sum to orange, these two blue sum to orange. So now it's not true anymore. Well, I have an extra digit one to nine, but 
ignoring that for a second. It's not true that the blue digits are the same as the orange digits. What's true is that the sum of the blue digits are still the same as the sum of the orange digits. Now, it's not quite true because the blue digits have an extra 45. But let's get rid of this as well. Um, does this help me now? Because now I have, I only have eight oranges. Yeah, but the blues are 45 more. How, how many, I have 10, I only have 14. Yeah, I, have, I don't think this is helpful. That, that is not the set. Okay, let's back up a sec. I mean, because if there's a set, it's, it has to be that. I can't imagine anything else would do it. Um, is it with these? Like if I, let's say I add those to blue. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to make those blue. And these four, which are already blue, I'm going to do that. So now I have two extra blue regions. And I can get rid of those and those and those. And I can do the same thing here, I suppose. Uh, that's not as useful because of this one, though. I'm going to hold off on that and see if this does anything at all. Um, and the problem is that there's now a difference of 90 between the blue sum and the orange sum, which is a lot of wiggle room. Like, um, I mean, the natural inclination is to make these as large as possible, but if I do that, this is at, at, ooh, at most 35, that's 17, uh, that's 52 total. But that would mean, if, if this is 52, that would mean blue is 142. And it, it seems quite easy to me to get that to be as low as 142. I, I don't, I don't, I'm going to try this without set, even though that's the whole point of this, because I, maybe the problem is they were trying to solve this with set, and that's not actually the way you do it. Um, so what would I do if I were just tackling this problem without thinking about set? I mean, this arrow is obviously the most interesting one, both because it's like very symmetry breaking, but also because it's so tangled. So this digit here, in fact, we get these chains of arrows here that might be useful. I'm going to label those orange. I bet these are going to be a 789 triple. I don't see a reason. Like, I mean, these are definitely in at least 6789 because each of these arrows has a three digit sum on it all in the same box. So the minimum that could be is a one, two, three. So these are all at least six. Is there a problem with one of them being six? I mean, here the problem is, I mean, these are at least six, but this one is not. This could be as low as four. Oh, no, 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 but, okay, these five arrows sum to at least 15. So these two digits, these two digits sum to the same as these five. So these two also sum to at least 15. So this is also at least six, um, which could be helpful. And now I'm looking at these and thinking, is it really possible for them all to have a one? Um, that seems okay, actually. So, uh, well, okay, hold on. Let's call these blue. Let's like, ignore these for a second. Actually, no, no, no let's do this. Because now the orange sum is the same as the blue sum. It's not really set. It's kind of like a set, but I didn't I didn't eliminate anything. I just I'm just I'm just joining these arrows together. Um, and what is the minimum I can make all this? I think it's essentially I could do because those are four in a row. That's ten, 
20, because 1 to 4, the digits 1 to 4 are 10. So in column 8, we'd have 10. In column 2, we'd have 10. That's 20. This could be a 1, 2 pair. Would be 23. Another 3 would be 26. And that 15 in here um, is 41. And these are at most 48. That's a lot of freedom. Uh, that's seven degrees of freedom. That's too much, much too much. Um, actually, hold on. Now these muddy the picture a bit because these whatever's on here. Let's call that purple. Purple shows up in the bottom row in box one somewhere. Um, and I'm wondering if it could, if it's going to have to be orange, and then we're going to end up with these six, seven, eight, nine quadruples here. Like, what would happen if these were down here, or I'm sorry, th this one would be over here. Um, I mean, it could be on the circle, of course. But what, what would happen if it weren't? Is that a problem? That's on the arrow. Um, well, okay. If it's on, if it's on the arrow, it's not on this arrow because it's here. And so we may have a problem where if this is on the arrow, do we run out of digits to make this low enough? And the problem is one of these could be on the arrow and one, and one of these can be on the circle. Like if these are both, if these are both on the arrow, I think we do, we're probably gonna have a problem because one, two, three, four. Oh no, this just repeats up here. No, that, that's fine. Um, I wonder if it's something like how many digits do these arrows have in common? Um, and I, hold on. Suppose, I, I think it's one, hold on. Suppose these have two digits in common. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Suppose I have two digits in common here. It doesn't matter what they are. Let's say I've got a one here and a two here and a one here and a two here. It really, it really does not matter where they go, but I have two digits that are on, that are on both arrows here. If that's true, then one and two have to go up here, but they can't go in purple because purple shows up here. Let's give this a color too. They can't go in green because green's down here. So one and two would both have to be in a Schrodinger cell. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. They'd both have to be in the same cell, which in this puzzle is not allowed. So I can't have two digits in common. And any, another way of saying that is any digits in common between these arrows have to be here. So these digits are at least now one, two, three, four, five, and a repeated one. So now I think that's so, so these six digits are at least, have a sum of at least 16. This is also at least 16 by the exact same logic. So that's now 16, 16, 15 is 42. No, I did the math wrong. Uh, is, sorry, 315 would be 45, is 47. That, now we're getting closer. So, um, So I think that means these digits are all from one to five. Uh, no, 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 I could do, the, I have one degree of freedom that could move a five to a six. So th th these are at least all less than six, which I guess I knew anyway, because you can't put seven on an arrow here. So what does that get me? That tells me these are all one to six at least. So seven, eight, and nine can't be any, they can't, I mean, obviously nine couldn't, but eight also couldn't, this could not be an eight, one, nine arrow anymore. Um, oh, 
oh, oh no, no, the degree of freedom is taken up here. So, um, so whatever digit is in common here, right, goes here. But the same thing is true down here. So if the digit that's in common in the bottom set is a one, there will be a one here. And if the digit in common in the top set is a one, it's here, but these can't both be a one. So one of these has repeated, either the bottoms or the tops have repeated one, and the other one has repeated two. So this is now a one, two pair. And that, that is my degree of freedom. So now these sum to at least 48, because one of, let's say it's this one has repeated one. That sums to 16, it's one, two, three, four, five, and another one. This could have repeated two, one, two, three, four, five, and repeated two is 17. So that's 16, 17, and 15, that's 48. And these are now a seven, eight, nine triple. Um, that's a one, two pair. Do I now know if these show up here? I don't think I do. I don't know, I think I still don't know. If, oh, well, no, I know they show up on the arrows, because seven, eight, nine, which is what this, this is either seven, eight or nine, cannot be this. So, um, so what? Uh, then, so, and then these are all from one to five and one or two appears twice. These are all from one to five. These are all from one to five. And importantly, oh, importantly, this now must sum to exactly 15, which means they're not nine, they're a seven, eight pair. And they're different. So this digit will appear in one of those two spots in box five, and then one of those two spots in box four. I don't know if that's helpful, but it is true. Um, which means nine, no, not seeing it yet. Um, this digit, hold on, this can't have a one. This is to at least seven. So the one's not here. So the one is def, well, the one's definitely here also because this isn't a nine anymore. So the one's definitely here. One, two, four, three, five is fine. One, two, five, three, four, or one, three, four, two, five is also fine. Okay. So this is, this is just a six, seven, eight, nine quad in the box. Oh, one, two here. These are not one or two. This is not a one. So the one goes here. Makes this six or seven. Um, this can't be two, so and this can't be two. So this is a two, uh, which means this is a five, and that's a seven, and that's a three, four pair, and that's an eight. So these are not seven. These are not eight. Um, I was gonna say what, because one of these is in a set where horizontally there's only a repeated one. So one of them will have a one, but I, there are also two nines here and only one of them is gonna be missing a one. I don't know which way it goes. Um, but one of the nines will be a two, three, four triple. And I wonder if there's something like that nine won't go with the seven because the seven also has to have a four. I don't know, whatever. Um, I don't, I don't think I have that information yet. This is a six, seven, eight, nine quad. So this is a six, seven, eight, nine quad. Um, I don't think that's too helpful actually. Uh, Well, these are all now, since these can't repeat on the circle, like green can't be on the circle because it can't be seven or nine. So green is in from one to five. This is also from one to five. So all, all of these are also lowish digits in the one to five range. So here I've got a low and a high. So these are, these are so if I, th if, I th if I think of low digits as one to five and the high digits as six to nine, then here, what I'm missing in this box is one low and one high. That's gonna give me all five lows, those four plus one extra. So these are you know, high-ish digits. Same thing, no, not the same thing down here. Um, Cause I could have two highs here. Hold on, no. this is one high, one low. 
from this. So if this is one high, one low, I don't think I know the order. Then this is also one high, one low. That gives me all the lows. So these are also high. Um, no, I'm not seeing it. I don't think I know which pair of digits that is yet. Or I, I don't think I can even, um, I don't think I can eliminate any of the three pairs that could sum to eight. Um, Yeah, this is a high and a low. Is there something like this can't be low for some reason? These would both be high. These would both be low. Yeah, four high. That would be okay. I don't see why that would break immediately. So then, purple's in here, green's in here. This digit's in both places. Um, what about this way? Because this way digits are also gonna end up repeating, but I, got, I have two places they can repeat now. Ooh. Um, here that's kind of restricted because like hold on suppose that the nine this nine had a two three four like suppose one of these nine so one of these four nines doesn't have a one on it because they can't all four have ones because that would put a one here and here. So one of these is missing a one, and the only way to put three digits on an arrow without a one is a two, three, four with a nine. Suppose that nine is one of these two. Now we have two, three, four here. Now oh, it's gonna work at four, two. I'm gonna say we have one, let's say this is a nine. We have two, three, four here. A seven has to be one, two, four, however that works out. And that's gonna put two and four shared between these, but that I could have a four here and a two here, and that's, Totally fine. Wait, hold on. I know the sum of these is 16. So I know there's only a repeated. No, no, no. I don't know that at all. I don't know that at all. I was going to say I know it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. But I think I, because I can have two repeat. I just showed another example where I had 1, 2, 4, 2, 3, 4. And these have repeated 5. One, two, five, one, three, five. And one and five here. Yeah. Wow. Um, hmm. Maybe this can't be seven because of. Oh, sorry. This A one seven. Jeez. Yeah. Very easy. Nine. That's a seven. So this is now one, two, four. Which means this can't be one, two, or four which means three or five appear here, which if neither of them appear to be one, two, four, and that's a seven, which I know it's not. That's not a nine, that's now an eight, that's a nine. This eight definitely has a one now. Could this be the two, three, four? No, 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 this is not the two, three, four, because that was share was one, two, four, and share two and four. So the two, three, four is up here. Ah, so it is exactly, <laughs> exactly what I thought. I mean, I thought I was trying to disprove this, but it turns out that's the right thing. Um, so these are now a two, four pair, four, two, just like described. This has a one in it, which joins with this one, make a one here, a two here. So the two is shared here. So this is actually a one, two, five. So this is a three, three or four. This is a one or a five, not a one. So that's a five which is going to now show up in there, which maybe is a little obvious. Um, hold on. If this is a one and a three or five, the other one is also a three or five. So this is just a one, three, five triple. So the only way to make nine with 
If I have one plus five, I need a three. If I have one plus three, I need a five. So this is a one, three, five triple for the nine, which means um, these share one and five. So that's a one, five pair now. These aren't two. Um, not three either, so those are four, which means those are threes. These are two and six in some order, and I know the order. Um, that's not nine. This is not seven or nine. One, two, three, four, five. This is not one, two, three, or four, but it could still be a five. Just by Sudoku, it's not one, two, three, or four. Um, this is, uh, of course, not one. Uh, threes could be anywhere. Okay, oh, five. Five's looking here. Those are threes. Um, does it help that five is one of these? This is a one, two, three, five quad. This is a one, two, three, four quad. Well, this is now a set of odds. This can't be three, because, oh, so this being one, two, three, four quad means one of these is a three, so that's not a three. That's not a five if that's not a three. This is a one, two, three, four quad, so that's not a one. I get a one by Sudoku. Well, th th that, this is easier. This is a one uh, six pair, and the one tells me how that goes. That's just Sudoku, six looking in here, um, which means this is a six. It's the only place I can go in row three. Two, three, five. Uh, what am I missing? No. Oh, this is not a seven. I was thinking this is a seven, eight, nine, but seven's already here. So I have eight and nine in here. So that's a seven. It's the only place seven can go in row two, which means the only place it can go here. It's just because, oh no, I already have a seven's box. That's six or seven. I have a five down here. Six looks at that. Um, eight is going to fix that. Nope, that's not. I already have an eight in the box. Uh, what are missing digits here? Nine and four. That's not resolved. I have eight goes here. Whoops, which gives me seven, eight here. Um, that's, nope, seven is not gonna look there. I know seven is one of these two. I feel so close. Um, Where's two? Either of those. Hmm. These aren't seven. That's not eight. Um, that's not six. So that gives me my eight, which gives me a nine. Uh, so these are from one, four, and eight. Three is looking over here. Um, <laughs> three. No. I do not know where three goes. Um, let's see here. Yeah, no, anywhere. Okay. Let's just let's just try normal Sudoku for a bit. Uh, no, that's. Ooh, no, that's blocked too. I don't see any two Sudoku either. Um, I think I already tried threes. Fours. Yeah, I don't have much four. That's not a four at least. Almost nothing on fives. Sixes. Seems like I should have more 
six information, but I really just don't. Um, I guess that's not a six or a nine. Okay, there we go. That's a seven. Six is one of those. So I, well, I need five, six, two, nine. Nine's in one of these. Why say five, six, nine? Five, six, nine, two. Is labeled. Does this have to be nine? This can't be two, six. No, it could be five. I don't have fives labeled. Anything. No, these can't be five. So let's see. This is five, six. This is five, nine. This is two, nine. This is two, six. So this is a not a one. Uh, two, six, eight, nine. This is a four. Four, four, four. One, eight. Eight here. Um, that puts an eight here. I think we're done with eights. Yes. Sevens. Are we done with sevens? No. Uh, X wing left on sevens. Nines. I don't know anything about nines. Uh, except, can I do something with this arrow? Uh, not obviously. Sixes here. A lot of choice here. Here. I guess that's it. Um, back to fives, no fours, no threes. Okay, it's probably this arrow. Um, or not. <laughs> okay, so it's, I mean, I pencil marked everything, ex I mean, including this arrow, I suppose. But this arrow is the only thing where one digit depends on the other, whereas here, they, in a non Sudoku way. Um, it's probably to do with these triples or something. I, I don't want to pencil mark. Oh, let's do this row. What am I saying? Three, six, nine. Three or nine. Three or nine. So that's my six. Um, yeah, then I just have this. Pattern for sixes. Um, well, this is a one, two, four, triple. So this is a, wait, what is this? Five and nine. This is five, seven, nine, I believe, which is not so helpful. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, five, nine. <laughs> this could be, could this really be any of one, two, three, five, nine? I think it can. Well, and this is a one, two, three, five. So this is four, six, nine. That's also not helpful. Three, four, six, nine. And you have two in here. Oh, two. Did I not just get the twos? Hold on, let me get rid of this to make sure that's right. Two, two. Two, yeah, two. Uh, that's probably, I probably had that before, but didn't notice it because I wasn't careful about my two triples um, or quadruples in that case. I think that's going to do it for twos. Three, four, one, three, four, six, nine. Yeah, I can't do it without. Yeah, there's no doubles or triples or even septuples here. Um, three, three, three works. How about one, one, one? works seven um this is not a one because one of these is a one so i'm gonna get a two four pair that doesn't help at all one three five nine okay every cell is marked with all of its candidates there must um be something Three, 
one seven four um I wonder if I made a mistake somewhere the arrows seem plausible uh yeah that all seems right so I, mean, I made I made a mistake but Nothing's contradicted yet. What that's no. <laughs> uh, what that's one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't know if it's two or five. Well, if this is two, that's two. That'll be six. Two, that'll be two, that'll be one. No, that's fine. One, one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How long do you have to sit and watch me have a very obvious Sudoku? Um, two, one, three, one. Uh, two, four makes it six, five, nine, two, nine. Um, I guess I didn't fully resolve it, but now it should, no, that's right, two, four, that's not a nine anymore, these are not nines, maybe they never were, I don't know how long my nine's been there, um, Thinking about nines, well, nines, no. Um, start at the beginning again. Ones should be dead. No, they're not, I have an X-wing of ones. Twos. Um, no, that's done. Four, two, two, four. Does that just leave me with the X-wing of four? No, I have a, I have a three-way deadly pattern. Um, okay, but now surely I have to have some. Could this be five? If that's five, we get seven one. One five. That's okay actually. Suppose that's not five. One three in some order. So we get a three X-wing, that's a three. This becomes a nine, a five, seven pair. That becomes very hard. Um, one, three, five, seven, one, seven, seven, six, three, four. Um, I, can't, I can't hold that many numbers in my head. It's not going to work. So I just have to find the spot where it all breaks. Um, sorry, I'm normally a little better at least at finding these. If this is a three, now that seems right. If this is a one, seven, one, five. If this is a one, this is a five. If this is a three, this, I think this can't be a five. Because if this is a five, that's not gonna help us at all, but if this is a five, we get a one here, but we also get seven, one here. So that's not a five. Um, I'm going to try to stick with that for a second. Well, that way works. If it's seven, five, three. If it's seven, that's four. That's seven. Um, no, okay. Why 
can't I see this? I'm normally pretty good at this kind of thing. Uh, I say impotently into the microphone. Uh, one, five, four, six, nine. What am I missing here? I'm tempted to hit the check mark and just make sure. I definitely would do that if I were not being recorded, just to make sure that I'm right up to this point. Um, otherwise, I'm wasting time both looking for like a XY wing or something, and also I'm in the wrong state for the puzzle somehow. Um, how about this one? This seems like I should be able to get rid of something. If this is four, that's the that's probably the easiest one to contradict. So let's start there. If this is four, yeah. So this can't be four because if I have a four, that's six, that's seven, five, three, and I get three, four looking here. So that's the easy one. How about? Can I get rid of four from here, maybe? If this is a four, that's a six. So that's a seven. So I got six, seven here. But if that's a four, three, one, seven. So that's all. this is also not four. So if this is a four, that's six, seven. But if this is a four, we also get three, one, seven. So we can't have both of these be seven. So that's not a four. So this is my four. And I think that will be enough to finish the rest by Sudoku. Seven, nine, three, one, seven, five, nine, five, um, nine goes to here. Seven, three, four, one, five. Whew. Uh, tough spot to say. Oh, well, there's no solution anyway, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I'll give it a check. Um, but I think that is all correct. Thank you. Um, for the puzzle and the recommendation, I'm sorry that I didn't get any set in there, any real set anyway. Um, but I think this is just as interesting. Actually, reminds me a lot of the JSMI Rob puzzle I featured pretty early on in my channel, my best of 2023 puzzles with this little interlocking uh, restrictions here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.